Okay, non-reducing sugars test is a test for a non-reducing sugar, not surprisingly. So for instance, if we do this, um, which is glucose and fructose joined together by a glycosidic bond. So the non-reducing sugars test is for a, a, a sugar that tests negative with Benedict's reagents initially, but you know it's a sugar. So the next action you do is that you do the acid hydrolysis of this glycosidic bond. So having boiled it with Benedict's reagent and it's tested negative, you then take a fresh sample and you boil it with hydrochloric acid. And that act of boiling it with hydrochloric acid will break this bond. So this is acid hydrolysis. So you've now produced two reducing sugars. You've broken it down to a glucose and a fructose. Those then, you take a fresh sample of Benedict's, you add the Benedict's reagent, you boil again, and obviously because you've now turned these into two reducing sugars, it will then test positive. So the test for a non-reducing sugars test, so non-reducing, is that if it's a sugar that initially tests negative with Benedict's reagent, or you boil it for five minutes and it remains a blue color because you can't reduce the copper two to copper one, then you boil it with hydrochloric acid. The act of boiling breaks this bond and then that means that the glucose and the fructose then reduce the copper two to copper one and therefore it goes red. Now there are also marks for saying you would boil with acid and then you would neutralize with sodium hydrogen carbonate um, and that would and then you would test do you remember taking it out and adding it onto a bit of pH paper and making sure that it was neutral before you then added Benedict's?